case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit was embroiled in a captivating case in 1969, popularly known as Bailey v. United States. The focal point of this case was an intricate aspect of law. For someone to be proven a facilitator in a crime, it necessitates both their active participation and a manifested dedication to success of the illicit endeavor. The defendant found himself in the eye of the storm, implicated in a robbery, but without conclusive evidence to substantiate his involvement. The court found itself in the spotlight, faced with the conundrum of whether the evidence at hand sufficed to pronounce the defendant guilty. Despite the defendant's presence in close proximity to the crime scene and his apparent acquaintance with the actual perpetrator during the afternoon of the crime, he was presented as an innocent participant in a game rather than a complicit partner in the act. The victim's helpless scenario, being held at gunpoint by an unidentified assailant who managed to escape the clutches of the law, further complicated matters. Fortunately for the appellant, the court found the evidence too vague and circumstantial to warrant a conviction. The prosecution failed to draw a clear line connecting the defendant to the robbery, thereby overshadowing any insinuations of criminal intent. Consequently, the court decided to reverse the conviction, handing down instructions to the district court to declare an acquittal. This ruling, essentially absolving the defendant of guilt, proved significant, driving home the message that without clear and compelling evidence, mere suspicion alone cannot support a conviction. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind, leave the stress of class.